A mustache. No, you don't have a mustache. It's we like have four hundred. People? People. Four hundred people since last week? Yeah. Welcome to Keto on the Couch, episode 101. Dalmatians. I'm Rachel. <laughs> and I'm Joe. And we're Two, two Crazy, crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Yes, welcome to the more than 400 new subscribers since the last Keto on the Couch. Now here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about various keto topics and then every Monday we sit down on a couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is 2crazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video you'll be alerted to it. So did you say a little prayer since we have a new camera? I'm hoping this all records right. I don't even know where to look because it's it's funny looking. Well, I took off like our other attachments right now, but yeah, yeah it's very different and there's no autofocus on this camera. It so if like I don't a, get it right, sorry, I'll fix it for next week. It looks like a play school camera. Like if you told a, ki a child, draw a camera, that's what it looks like. So, well, it is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, my Valentine. I like your outfit. Well, I had another, well, I had the shirt on from last week's Keto on the Couch because it's Valentine's Day mm -hmm. and we were around the kids all day and it's all Mickey Mouse characters. So I thought, well, this one's got red on it too. And I got my red pants on. And you got a mug. It says, I hug do. me. Mom, I love you. This was a subscriber you. mug. It was. So We've had an interesting week. It has been a fun food week. We've dove back into all of our recipes. We're going old school. And we've been doing a lot of meal prep because we're getting ready to start lacrosse season on Tuesday. Yeah. And I need to make sure like everything is prepped and ready to go. So we've eaten a lot of our chili and a lot of our chicken, like Mexican shredded chicken. Shredded chicken. Because it's super easy to make. And it just reminds you that it doesn't take that long and it can last all week. We're not yeah. somebody that is afraid of leftovers. There's not every type of food that I'm not crazy about leftovers. Like what what food do you not want leftovers? Mm, I'm not a big fan of leftover eggs. Yes, no. Yeah, I have to, I mean, they're at least pretty quick to Hard fry Hard-boiled eggs are one thing, but like, like, you know, a like fried scrambled egg. eggs, yeah, no. I don't want to do that. I didn't even want to get those like prepped ones that you can buy, because you can buy ones that are like already scrambled for you, you know, kind of like they do at McDonald's. Oh, no, no, no. And it's like, no. No, like I like the sous vide kind of eggs. Like if you make those, like with the, put the little peppers and the onions and that kind of stuff, yeah, we make those in the Instapot. Yeah. But just like a scrambled egg, yeah. No, Doesn't thank you. Doesn't keep. Let us know down in the comment section, what what kind of leftover food do you not like? For me, that's pretty much it. I mean, other than that, like our chili is great. We, we've been making like double batches of chili, only I've been changing it up a little bit, so depending on what ingredients I have in the house. So yeah. lately I have a lot of ground beef and I was trying to go through it because we'd gotten a bunch like on clearance one day. And so we haven't been putting pork in it. It's just been, been like bacon and ground beef and then some keto chow, the tomato basil keto chow. And it's been delicious making just five pound vats of chili and eating that for two or three days. Yeah, and it's the same with the vegetables. It's like if we have, you know, half a jalapeno left, it's mm -hmm. going in there. And if we have, you know, a quarter of an onion or something like that, just what we have. If, if I have to throw broccoli down in there, we'll yeah. do that. It's kind of like, I'm not going to the store. Let's just see what we got. Yeah. I like that. So right now we're in the middle of, if you're watching this on Monday when we launch it, we're in the middle of the premiere. So if you're watching this right now, Hi. there's a chat going on and you can go and chat with us only when we actually launch the video, which is at this point now going to be every Monday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. And we just pushed it back a little bit. Number one for the West Coast people, mm -hmm. but also because we don't want to interfere with Autumn's live stream Hi, at Autumn. 9.30 because Hi, I know so many people like are like kind of watch both live stream chats, yeah. that kind of thing. But speaking of live streaming, we have some good news. We have some super exciting news. Yeah. Take your socks off because we're about to blow them off. <laughs> So on Wednesday, this Wednesday, which is, what's today? 14, 15, 16, 17. Carry the one. The 17th, mm -hmm. February 17th, Wednesday, 
at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern time. Yeah, our time. We will be live on Keto Connect. Did you just hear that? So Keto everybody Connect. head on over at 11 a.m. and completely like take over their chat yes, section. Like let's, let's bombard do it, the chat section. Let's do it, our crazy keto. I have no idea what we're talking about. We're just gonna be talking with Matt and I don't know if Mega's gonna be there or not, but I know that we will be on with Matt and it should be fun. So talk about keto, things that are going on, what's I'm going on in the keto so space. Excited. What if they have us play Name That Tune? I'm not very good at that game. Well, I mean, and the tunes that they're played would be so much cooler than our tunes. Like, can we, I'd like to put in a request if in fact we are gonna be doing that, just like only Burt Bacharach songs, maybe ABBA, that sort of thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna do that though. We have a giveaway. Yes, you we wanna do. pick the giveaway? Yes, I do. So last week was episode 100 can you of believe Keto that? on the Couch. I still can't believe it. I can't believe we have 400 new subscribers this week. So um, on that episode, we said we were gonna give something away. So what we were giving away was a two Crazy Keto's blender bottle. Blender bottle. A Redmond Real Salt, it's called, I guess it's called a salt cellar, right? All I know is it's a make Rachel feel fancy salt dispenser. And then we're doing the Keto Chow. It's the whole mug bundle. And this isn't what you're getting. You're getting this mug. Mm -hmm. You're getting four different flavors of Keto Chow Not along with recipe one. cards that will make four different flavor mug cakes. And you have enough stuff to do 12 mug cakes. Now, if you're interested in that, I do think they still have some left. So there is a link for that down below. But let's go ahead, jump on over to pick a winner. Pick a winner. And pick the winner for this. Let's see how many people. You ready? Yes. Fetch. Anything goes. And then, oh, oh my. 203. And the yep. winner is? Jenny Beeson. Congratulations, Jenny. Jenny says, what does an average day of eating look like for you guys? So, um, well, first of all, before we, we'll answer that question, but Jenny, here's what you need to do. You need to send us an email at joe at twocrazyketos.com with all of your shipping information and we will send everything right out to you. Congratulations, Jenny. Now, before we answer the question, I'm looking over there and uh, it did remind me. Oh yeah. We are still giving away 10 packages of the brand new flavor of Keto Chow. It's not too late. The peaches and cream, so it's not too late. The winner is gonna be drawn tomorrow, if you're watching this on Monday, on Tuesday, February 16th. I'm trying to make sure the dates are right in my head. I was head. gonna say, we're gonna them up. So all you have to do is head on over to the review video of the peaches and cream, which I will leave linked right here, and leave a comment on there. Now, here's the thing. We are not going to draw the winners because I know we said we were gonna draw the winners in a week. Rachel said, no, oh, that was Tuesday. Yeah. And uh, I don't wanna have to film a special video for it. So what we did was we're going to invade Chris and Miriam's live stream over on Keto Chow. We're invading everybody. At eight, which is at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. And so they are going to pick the winners for us using Pick a Winner, and then they're going to pick give us, or you guys, whoever wins, will email us and we will send it out. It's coming out of our personal stock. It's not coming from them, but right. I just figured, you know what, they have a live stream, let them go ahead and pick it and then we don't have to do a special video or anything. They're so awesome, thanks for doing so that, So go Chris ahead and, and, and invade their live stream at 9.30 yeah. p.m. Eastern It's fun Standard anyway. Time. Yeah, so, um, and oh, by the way, flavor of the week this week is vanilla. The most versatile yep, make flavor great they have. Yep, great peanut butter. And also, somebody put in our Facebook group, if you are interested in a review like Zevia's, which I have to head over there tomorrow, that today, or for you guys, Monday, which is today, and on Tuesday, last mm -hmm. two days, buy one, get one free 10 packs of Zevia. Wow, where? So it's $10 at Sprouts. It's $10 for a 10 pack, and then you're buy one, get one free. So you get 20 cans for 10 bucks. That's really good. Whereas the normal price is like $5 or $5.99 for six cans. Yeah. So, Really good price on the Zevia over there at Sprouts. So if you have a Sprouts, beer. head on over there and get it. I know I'm gonna go get a whole bunch tomorrow. What's your favorite flavor of Zevia right now? I don't know, I, I kind of like go through, I like them all. I like the root beer, I like the cream. The only one I'm like not a fan soda. of, I don't like the strawberry. I don't like- You had me buy you strawberry and there's still yeah. four cans in there. Just I, not a fan of the strawberry. I love the grape. I, oh gosh, make good choices, Joe. I'm not a fan of the ginger ale. 
See, I love the ginger ale one. So. Yeah. Okay, let's get back to okay. Ginny's uh, question. What do we eat? What do we eat? So, whatever's not nailed down. People ask us all the time, <laughs> can you do some, uh, like, what you eat in a day videos? Which we have done, and we're going to try to do some more. But honestly, in the past, our eating is pretty boring. We're kind of boring. Yeah, we eat the same things day after day after day. Now, the last couple of weeks, it's been a little bit better. But for the, what we've always done is pretty much hamburger and eggs. Hamburger and eggs. More hamburger and eggs. Sometimes Maybe sometimes are, bacon. Sometimes they're a patty and sometimes it's ground hamburger. And once in a blue moon, we'll have like a brisket or something like that. But hamburger and eggs is super easy because, yeah. again, super busy lifestyle. And like you have the Blackstone, which is what we have. We almost never cook it inside. So I can go outside with frozen hamburgers or even fresh ground, you know, like ground beef. Yeah. Throw it on the Blackstone, throw a couple eggs on there. And five minutes later, everything is cooked and I have no cleanup, which is the best part. And there's I nothing to clean in the kitchen. I love that part, yes. If you happen to be using paper plates, it's even better, so. Use the paper plates. Maybe you'll get some tomorrow. Oh, well, we have a bunch from Christmas. Valentine's. I just never actually use them. Yeah, we'll have some with, well, we had some, I took a picture of what, the, the shredded chicken that we were eating while we were camping with my mm. mom yesterday. And um, yeah, it was on Christmas plates. So <laughs> Merry Christmas. So currently though, most of our eating is a lot of our meal prep. We're doing some eggs. We're doing like the keto chow protein custard that we make. Link is right up there for that I love recipe. That. Uh, we're doing a lot of our chili, Mexican shredded chicken, chicken some shrimp, um, some Lasagna. eggs. Just kind of mixing it all up. But we are gonna do some more full day of eating videos, but there is an entire playlist of them, uh, which I'll leave a link for down in the description for that. Yeah. So. Um, what else do we have going on? We had the peaches and cream. We've already announced. Perfect Keto. Perfect Keto. Has a new flavor of collagen. Available today. Unfortunately, it was supposed to show up on Saturday, but the mail lately is just like not that awesome. They're doing the best they can. So we didn't get it. So as soon as we do get it, we will do a review on it, but I'm really excited because it's strawberry. I'm very excited and about I it. And I loved the peanut butter one. Well, and I'm excited because it's collagen mm -hmm. and I'm excited to to try a new flavor of that. Cause yeah. usually my go-to is chocolate. Yeah. And I just mix it with water. A lot of people say like, what do you mix your collagen with? You put it in your coffee? No, weirdly, I like it cold and I like it um, with just water. Now the peanut butter one, and that's why I'm hoping the strawberry one is this good. The peanut butter one, is really awesome because what I do is I take eight ounces of almond milk, eight ounces of water with a couple of ice cubes, throw a scoop of that into the blender with right. a raw egg. And it is the most delicious, like, I almost want to say like malted. Yes. Right? It, it's peanut butter flavor, but you it's like you're drinking a peanut butter milk, but it's kind of like a malted when you add that egg. So I'm really hoping the strawberry is like packed full of flavor because I'm really enjoying that collagen every morning. Well, I'm just excited about it because it feels like a spring thing for me. Mm -hmm. Like I enjoy, I enjoy pinks and the pastels. I mean, that's what, why the peaches and cream is so fun. Cause it's like the peach color also. Right. And I like the, the little pink strawberry colors right now. It's pretty. Let's take a quick commercial break and then we'll come back with all of our comments and everything. Okay. Hey everybody. I'm about to type in the chat. I love crocodiles. Cause <laughs> why not? Okay, this is the portion of our Keto on the Couch episode where we'd like to celebrate you guys, our subscribers. So again, we have 400 new subscribers. We do this every week and we go into our Facebook family group. Now, if you're not a member of our Facebook family group, make sure you go ahead and join. It is completely yes, free. Yes, free. And uh, there's a link for that down below. And while you're doing that, also, you know what else is free? Subscribing to our Two Crazy Keto's YouTube channel. It's completely free, unlike some other streaming platforms where you actually have to pay to subscribe to them. It's crazy. It's free on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe to our channel and make sure you hit that bell button so that you're notified when we upload videos because we've been uploading a lot of videos lately and new recipes are coming out all the time. Sorry if you're tired of us. Okay, so this portion is where we pick our adjunct professor of the week, which is somebody who put up a post that was super inspirational. And this week's adjunct professor of the week is Lori. Lori Holcomb, who got a haircut this week and looks amazeballs, by the way. Anyway, Lori says, celebrate yourself. I had terrible self-esteem for most of my life. I hated my body and I hated myself. 
Stop trying to fit other people's mold for you. Yes. Be who you are and be proud. Real friends will be there no matter what. Surround yourself with positivity. There is no greater love on earth than loving yourself. Well, except God's love, obviously. If you don't love yourself first, you can't love others and you will never get the love you really deserve. That is the most awesome post. Lori. And it literally described everything about me, right? Yes. I had the worst self-esteem and such wow. a great post. So thank you very much, Lori. Thank you. Oh my goodness. I am taking that into this coming week because we, we had a few like, you know, not so great like comments and emails from yeah. people. We, we've gotten more negative comments yes. in the last five days than we have in the last three years. A lot years. of people don't like my face. <laughs> I can't do anything with it. It's This is what I came with. I'm sorry. Hey, I like the ones that just say that, like, I'm a male chauvinistic pig. That's like... Some of them are like, like wipe that you. smile off her face. <laughs> okay. Now we have our subscriber of the week. This week's is Mary. Hey, Mary. Mary said, I'm 62 and I feel 40. Yes. Never mind the weight loss. The pain loss has been amazing. It took a year to lose 60 pounds. First 50 went in seven months and five months for the last 10. For those of you who are struggling, those were the last few. Yep. Now I'm six pounds below my goal weight and my body seems to stay put right here. Wow. I've dieted many, many, many times in my life and I've never changed my lifestyle and therefore my life until keto. If you are just starting out, my advice is to keep going. This truly is the proper human diet and as such, once you get your groove, you yep. just naturally stay in that groove and soon you're DNA memories of proper eating returns. Wow. I walk down the chip or the cookie aisle now, shortcut on my way to the meat. Yes. And I just think, blah. Thank you, 2KK, and all of the dedicated keto gurus like Dr. Barry et al. Um, that work so hard every day to help others like me find their way. Keto is freedom. Wow, Mary. Oh, my gracious, girl. You look amazing. You look amazing. And that sequin shirt is like my love language right there. <laughs> like, I love sequins. And you look fantastic. And thank you for sharing that. Because, number one, I love that she is saying that, you know, it took almost as much time to get off the last, like, 10 pounds, 20 yep. pounds, as it did the first bulk of it. And that yeah. was my experience too. And yeah. I think same for you. It's those last pain in the butt pounds right. that like just frustrate you. But then once you get your groove, and that's what we're looking for right now ourselves when right. we're doing the one-to-one -one thing and we're trying to find out what is actually full for us. Right. And once you get in the zone, then it'll be easier to maintain it. Yeah. So let's get into the comments. We're going to start off with last week's uh, comments off of Two Crazy Keto's uh, Keto on the Couch episode. Mm -hmm. And the first one is from RV There Yet. RV There Yet. She I said, love that. Rachel, been catching you guys every so often due to wonky internet these past few months and I've seen your hair change color a few times like a lot right yeah have to say I think you've found it it's so Thank pretty you. today some kind of perfect shine and awesome shades of blondie light brown really really favors you I had to throw that in there thank you so much like first of all I love your name that's the funnest name ever um, but yeah, thank you. I, I ran into somebody even at church today that I hadn't served with in a while. And you know, with the masks, you pass each other and you're only seeing your eyeballs. Right. And so sometimes you just don't notice. And she was like, I recognize the voice. I didn't, I didn't know who, did you just stop dyeing your hair? And I was like, yeah, I'm just done with it. And she's like, well, I, I like it, but I would not have known who you were yeah. if I didn't hear your mouth because, yeah, yeah Rachel. For those of you who are new to the channel, Rachel is like used to color her hair every single Since month. Since I was 17. Because she got to lots of grays coming in, even though she's only 44 years old. And uh, a few months ago, she decided to embrace it. Because thanks you, to you guys. guys. And uh, I love it. It just looks great. And she's decided no more dying. It's one less thing to worry about, but I would not have had the confidence to do it, except for I trust what you guys say to me. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I trust you. I know you're my friends and you care about me. So I was like, all right, that made me let go and, and just be like, okay, I'm doing it. Yeah. By the way, their name is RV There Yet. And for those of you who don't know, we also have a camping slash RV channel as Weekend Warriors. We like to go RVing it's every a couple weeks. Two and crazy it's Two Crazy campers. campers. I'll leave a link for that channel up here. Head on over there. We're doing some vlogs. We're, we're putting the vlogs up there now. Uh, campground reviews, RV reviews, 
We've got a video coming out of Rachel cleaning the poop tank. So that one's going to be really good. You're definitely going to want to go head over and subscribe to that channel just Can't to see Rachel clean the You got me talked into that. Tank. So let's get to the next one. It is from Diane. Hi, Diane. She says, so I've owned one of your shirts since September. My husband showed it to me and it is so dang cute. Today is the first time I've actually watched one of your videos. Well, welcome. Thank you for watching. I can honestly say that I love you guys. You are both so positive. Positive. I'm getting back in line with my keto low carb journey. I originally started on December 29th, 2019, and I lost 70 wow. pounds and felt great. I could move without pain. I didn't have heartburn anymore. I even got rid of severe headaches. In November of last year, we found out my husband's cancer had come back. He is now battling stage four esophageal cancer, and I am a stress eater. The last few months have been a downward spiral for me. I've gained back about 30 pounds. I feel like crap. I am determined to get things back in order. One day at a time is all I can handle for now. Hearing you guys' positive words is going to be a big help, and I can already tell. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Well, Diane, first of all, we are keeping you and your husband in prayer. Every single day, every morning, I'm gonna be. I'm walking at 5 a.m. and that's my prayer time. Walking, and you and your husband are on our prayers. Yeah. So, and you've got this. Just keep going. You have an entire support system here. You can message us on Facebook, on Instagram, and you've got a ton of people over there on Facebook and on our Discord channel. All the links are down below. So, if you yeah. need support, you need somebody. Go ahead and jump in there and somebody will help you along. Day or night. Okay, so next one is from Kathleen. Hey, Kathleen. Kathleen said, I have learned so much from watching you two and your Facebook group. Yay! I have finally hidden my scale. Yes! And felt so relieved that I wasn't going to weigh in and stress myself out first thing this morning. So thank you. I love that. That is so good. Honestly, we almost... If you're, if you just can't throw out the scale, mm. let's say you just can't get rid of it. Cause first of all, I think hiding the scale, getting rid of the scale, not getting on the scale at all is brilliant. That's yep. number one brilliant. But if you're like, I can't do that, mm -hmm. then I would say weigh at night. Weigh, weigh at, at night, night and go to bed. Why would you want to weigh at night? Because first of all, Am I fooling myself with a water weight or I just woke up or I peed and now it's not a thing? Like if I have to weigh, let's weigh at night and then go to bed because there's nothing else I can do with today. Gonna go go to bed, get up tomorrow, stick with it. So weigh after you eat. I'm way before you go to bed and there's like, that's the last thing okay. that I'm thinking about because what happens if you weigh in the morning? It either ruins your whole entire day. That's true. Or you're like, okay, I have some chaos that I can fit into this day. That's One definitely me. Both of them are good. I mean, the best thing to do is what you did, which is hide the scale or get rid of it. Personally, I, because we're doing the tracking on different apps, I'm weighing but once a week. And that is it. And it's hard to get into the flow of that and be mm -hmm. like, nope. But I've started doing that as if it is like an eating window. I'm like, oh, sorry, I can't wait today. It's not my day. Now, again, we still have, we're going to go through the whole month of February, February 2020, if you're watching this later on for some reason. Uh, but what's the this, future like? This entire month, if you send us a video, mm -hmm. either by email at twocrazyketos at gmail.com or even over on Instagram, of you smashing your scale, and please don't smash your five hundred dollar scale that measures your body fat. No, and all not that like your yeah, not like, like a if you have system. just a regular scale, you know, or and it's just you're tired of it, right? Yep. You're tired of it putting you down. If you send us a video of you smashing your scale. We're gonna feature it on our channel and we're going to send you a blender bottle, a yep. Two Crazy Ketos blender bottle. So that we're gonna do that through this whole month. Anybody who sends us a video of them smashing their scale because the scale is, is the, the devil. devil. So next one is from SMT Ramirez. And they say, I've been fasting for about 20 hours most days. The scale is pretty much the same, but my scrubs are way looser. That is awesome. I would totally be okay with going down sizes if the scale never moves again. I know I'm in the minority with that. That, not the majority, but that is brilliant because yes. it's achieving what you want, yeah. right? I mean, like, it, it, it's moving it, your, your clothing. And it's a question we posed last week. If you didn't see last week's Keto on the Couch, it was like, if, and we also during start part three of like doing your macros, if you like were to never lose a pound, but yeah. You lost size and all your health problems went away. Would you be okay with that? And I was shocked by the amount of people who said no. 
I have to say, though, at the beginning, I probably would have said no, too. Really? Like, yeah, because, you know, one of the things is the extended period of not being in pain, though. Right. Once you have I to go that distance, you've got to go that distance and get through all of the seasons. And for me being like, I didn't go through a seasonal depression. I didn't go through pains and aches when it was rainy season or if things got cold. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I wasn't having acne during the summer. Right. Like on, not just on my face, but on my back. Once you, once you go through a really long extended period of time and you have to really contemplate, would I go back? Right. Would I stop what I'm doing if I thought that I could like quickly, you know, flush out some pounds or something by just you know, changing up. No, I would never go back because right. all of those other things are pretty freaking awesome. But you didn't know they were coming when you first started. You didn't, and you didn't know that you were gonna be able to hold on to them forever either. That's true. It's not a fluke. Yeah, so. Okay, next one is from Gail. Hey, Gail. Gail said, last week I put an egg in my coffee for three days. This will now be a regular thing because I am trying to get in more protein. I never would have believed that you could not tell the difference. I actually encouraged one of the WAC fam girls to try it, and I just love how we can help one another along this journey. Had it not been for Joe, I never would have put a raw egg in my coffee. Congrats on 100 episodes. Gail, what an encouragement you are, first of all. Like, mm -hmm. every day, you're such a blessing. But I love that idea of passing it on and mm -hmm. just sharing. And you don't realize how you're going to bless somebody by just sharing something new. We were on a walk yesterday, and Joe mentioned, you know, somebody had said, wow, you know, I stuck with something because it was like, I'm not going to do close enough. And somebody else said that they were going to put the, you know, the egg in their drink. And he's like... I feel so excited that maybe I helped somebody right. by just sharing something that I was doing. And you're doing the same thing. Every mm -hmm. single time you encourage somebody, you share a tip that you found, you don't even realize what a shortcut that you're doing for somebody else, right? Mm -hmm. Like you you just saved them so much time and energy. I just wanna say how much of a smile Gail puts on my face. Like every, I don't think Gail's ever missed a live stream. No. Us or Autumn, right? And if no. you haven't seen, go watch Autumn on Watch Autumn Keto. And I'll Richard. put a link down below. And I mean, she live streams three days a week and she puts up some awesome content and we absolutely love Autumn. But Gail is such an encourager and that's what I love about her. We don't even use our blender without thinking about Gail anymore. <laughs> Okay, next one is from Donna. Hey, Donna. Donna said, still wanting to know how you put eggs in your coffee for more protein without cooking them, um, how to make them like creamer. Okay, we are gonna make a video on it. We're just kind of behind in like some of the videos. We've got so many that we're working on right now. Uh, but to put it simple, I put my coffee in the blender, mm -hmm. I turn the blender on, and while it's running, I add the egg. Okay, so I've never tried it like with not putting it in a blender, you need to put, if you want to turn it into cream, you have to put it into a blender because yeah. that's going to emulsify the egg. So I, I'm assuming that, I just know that this is what works for me. And it's and, hot coffee. And it's hot coffee. I've never had the egg cook and it could be because the blender is running and um, the egg just immediately emulsifies, the yolk emulsifies it because I've never tried just taking it and dropping it in. I could see it cooking if you just dropped it in like egg drop soup. I mean, that's how you make egg drop soup, right? You take like boiling chicken soup and you slowly drizzle in the egg and it cooks it. But I think because you're dropping it in so quickly yeah. while it's blending, I don't know the science. I just know it works. It just happens. So hopefully that one helps. Okay, next one is from Jennifer. Hey Jennifer, she says, how are you making your keto chow with eggs? Are you meaning the custard or do you mean eggs in your shakes? Okay, so I put the eggs in my shakes. Um, and again, this is not a mandatory thing. I'm just, I was trying to update up my protein in January when I was only eating keto chow and I enjoyed it. Now, one thing I'm gonna say, if you're going to use raw egg in anything, not just keto chow, if you're gonna use raw egg in keto chow, in a protein drink, in any kind of Consume a drink. Consume it immediately. You wanna crack the egg and drink it. Do not crack the egg into a keto chow and let it sit in the refrigerator for three days to thicken up. No. So if you're like me, if you make your keto chow ahead of time, like that's fine, make two, three days ahead of time, but don't put the egg in it. What you're gonna do is, 
when you're ready to consume them, like I have a lemon meringue one in there right now, I'll take that out, I'll dump that into a blender, add my egg into it, and then blend it up. You don't wanna crack a raw egg and then let it sit. That is how you get salmonella poisoning. Yeah. Because it has that time to start maturing and growing. But it, it's like if you eat it right away, as soon as you crack it, you'll be completely fine. So next one is from Deborah. Hey, Deborah. Deborah said, I'm encouraged by the info on protein. I have a hard time getting enough protein. I appreciate your kind and generous hearts. Thanks, Deborah. Gosh. There are so many things you can do to get protein in. And we actually have a whole video on this coming out. But again, if, if you are having trouble getting your protein and your food in, a lot of people have messages like, I just can't eat that much. Extend your weeding, eating window. Yeah. Okay. It's more important to get your protein in than it is to eat within a one or two hour window. I don't know how intermittent fasting became you have to eat everything within an hour in one meal. Yes. I mean, there's nothing wrong with OMAD. There's nothing wrong with intermittent fasting. But you have to consume enough food for your body to be able to maintain itself. And that is one of the downsides, especially of OMAD, of not eating enough food long term. It's one thing to do it for like a day or two. But if every day you are consistently only eating half of what you need, your body's metabolism is going to slow down. It's, it's basic science. Yeah. And I mean, again, it's not a competition. Mm -hmm. It's not a race. You know, if somebody is saying like, why OMAD and I eat, you know, everything in 15 minutes, you know, I eat fast and I'm trying to slow myself down too. Mm -hmm. um, and, and maybe that's a hard thing that you're just used to eating fast. Cause I mean, I, I even have had to eat with chopsticks yep. in order to slow myself down because my fork or spoon can be like a shovel yeah. and I can go really fast. Whereas Joe eats very slowly and it's not as big of a problem, but yeah, just slow down, enjoy it, take your time. You know, if you have a four hour eating window, take the full four hours. Yeah, I mean, and if you like to OMAD, that's great, but OMAD could be a one meal that takes three hours yeah. to eat. It's it's just, you know, take a few bites, wait a little while, whatever you need to do to make sure you get all your protein in. But you could be eating eggs, you can do some, some protein drinks, um, you could be doing chicken, like just eat up the chicken, lower the fat, eat like, you know, more lean meats. You can eat bison, that's very, very, very lean, very similar to ground beef, and then add a little bit of fat for flavor. Well, and one of the things that my mom started doing because she has a hard time with it too is eating her protein first mm -hmm. because she's trying to get to like her veggies and things like that, anything that has the carbohydrates in it. So she's like, all right, I'm trying to get my protein in first because that is the priority. Yep, that's the priority. Okay, next one is from Jessica. Hey, Jessica. She says, love the premiere with the live chat. So fun. Been trying to lower to my fats to get closer to one to one. It isn't as easy as I thought it would be. I have a lot of really high fat foods like Spam and Knockwurst. Always get 0.8 to a gram of protein per total pound of body weight, but around 75% fat, 25% protein. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this up for a minute. There's nothing, Spam and Knockwurst are great. I mean, you yeah. know what, you, what you can do is don't add a lot of extra fats. Like one of the things that we started doing was instead of putting a bunch of butter or heavy cream or even oils in coffee, we use almond milk. Yeah. And then we can get the fats from our meats and stuff like that. But um, when you have 75 fat, 25% protein, I'm assuming that you're meaning calories. And if that is the case, that is about a one to one protein to fat ratio. So that's why I'm saying this is nothing new. If you eat one to one, you're somewhere between 65 and 75% of your calories coming from fat. We're just not counting calories because protein calories really don't matter anyway. So what we are really worried, that's why you have to eat some fat. You have to have some fat. You, your body needs at least 60 to 80 grams of fat a day because that is your energy and then also your carbohydrates if you're having any. But you need to get that to carry the vitamins for any kind of healing properties so you don't get protein poisoning. So make sure you're getting that in and then get your protein in as well. But don't worry about it. Just yeah. you know, just eat a little bit more lean meat. You can keep eating the knotwurst and all in the bratwurst and you can, you know, eat liverwurst. Yeah, that's his love language, totally. But you can, you know, just also add in maybe some chicken breast or something like that. Let's go ahead and take a commercial break and we'll come back with the Facebook family comments. Okay. I love you more than unicorns. And I'm typing that right in the chat right now. Are you gonna remember to do that? Mm-hmm. Okay, so our next one is from Elizabeth. Hey Elizabeth, 
She says, I started doing the higher protein keto on Monday. Yesterday, I deep conditioned my hair in the shower. This involves me combing my hair in the shower while wet. I usually, or rather lately, have lost a lot of hair when doing that. I lost very little yesterday. I'm always seeing results from this. And I've not had the desire to snack since starting too. Very, very happy. And Joe, I didn't destroy my scale, but it is put away for a month. I'm not going to weigh until mid-March. That's awesome. Let me adjust to this new way of eating and my new habits. That is awesome. That is awesome. I couldn't, I could not be more proud of you. Yeah. Like that is so exciting. And as somebody who constantly lost, like I would brush my hair, an entire clump of hair would come out. Now, even seeing my brushes now, my, the kids, like, cause Caleb came in to like use one of my brushes and he was like, did you just clean these? And I was like, no. And he's like, there's no hair in it. <laughs> Because yeah, we don't use big lose big clumps of hair anymore. It's really it's really nice because that upsets you. That yeah. hurts your feelings. Yeah. Now for the protein, yeah, that's one thing we said. The protein is gonna fill you up during your meal and then fat helps you get to the next meal. That's why you need to have both of them. And Dr. Barry talks a lot about that, where like eating eating good meat, eating fat and protein is not going to affect your insulin to a meaningful level or raise your blood sugar to a meaningful level. Can your blood glucose go up from eating protein and fat? Yes, but it's not going to spike to a harmful level. Right. right? Your glucose can go up from fatty acids. Your glucose can go up from eating protein. Your glucose can go up if you don't eat anything. I have experimented with that myself using a CGM where I've gone on a 48 hour fast and then gotten up, gone to the bathroom, and my glucose went up by 100, by not 100, up to 130 right. points. Why? My body needed glucose. When your body needs glucose, it's It'll going make it. to make it. First from carbohydrates, if it doesn't have that, it's gonna to result to fatty acids. If it doesn't have that, then it's gonna to go to your protein and to your muscle. So don't worry about eating the protein. If your glucose is going to 105 because you're eating protein, that's nothing. Even if you're a diabetic, you know, you're you're looking for like diabetic problems, getting 140, 200, 250 and then not coming back down right so, and again remember we're not doctors or health professionals this is all stuff that we've learned and again we've both struggled with having higher glucose levels and yes if it's up a little bit it's okay go check out the article we have linked down below and there's a whole thing there on protein raising your glucose and also gluconeogenesis mm -hmm. Okay, so next one is from Oval. Hey Oval, they say, does anyone know of a good meal prep site or video for the new way to keto? I'm just winging it, but would love to be more prepared. Okay, so um, actually, if you want a meal prep site, I would head over to Keto Connect. Keto Connect has all kinds of meal prep like programs and stuff. But honestly, you can pretty much go to any one of our recipes or even most of the keto recipes out there and make them. A lot of the stuff that we have on our website and there's a link for them all down below. They're all spawned out of meal prep. They were making big amounts of food so that we can just have it cut up for both us and for the kids because everybody would eat on a different schedule. So like the meat layer lasagna, the chili, the Mexican shredded chicken, the taco, taco pie. pie. Now, if you're talking about new way of eating with lower fat or higher protein, you can just adjust things. Instead of using 73, you know, 27 ground beef, use 90-10. That's what we've been using in some of our chili. You can use chicken breast instead of chicken thighs. So you can up your protein just by taking those same recipes but using leaner cuts of meat. And right. it's still going to taste delicious. Mm -hmm. Okay, so next one is from Gabriella. Hey, Gabriella. Gabriella said, so I've been doing keto since January 1st. I'm a busy mom and I have never bothered to calculate my macros. Okay. I do have an idea of how many carbs I eat from packaged foods and I don't count green vegetables, but I don't count fat or protein. I just eat naturally fatty foods like bacon, beef, dark meat, chicken, rather than lean, making sure I get a good amount of fat since I made my, I think my mistake during prior attempts at keto was not getting enough. Anyways, is keeping track of my macros necessary? It seems like a lot of work, especially if I don't measure anything when I cook. Um, it is absolutely not necessary, and Dr. Barry talks about that all the time. Eat till you're comfortably full. If you know what that is. <laughs> and if you know what that is, and also if you're not eating packaged foods. Yeah. If you are going to eat a bunch of packaged foods, I would say somewhat track. Don't track calories, track your fat, your protein and your carbohydrate grams. That's all you wanna look at. You wanna make sure you're getting enough protein 
and that your fat and your carbs combined don't exceed the protein. You wanna keep it a little bit under, if anything. Um, don't exceed it, and you can up the protein as much as you want. If you wanna eat 100 grams more protein, have at it. Yeah. But make sure you're getting that fat and that, and if you are having any kind of total carbohydrates, get that all together. Um, but if you're not eating packaged foods, no, you don't have to track anything. You don't have to count anything because if you're eating just whole meats like bacon and you know ground beef and turkey and pork and butter and tallow, and you're only eating a couple times a day, your body's gonna tell you you're full and you're done and you don't have to worry about it. But if you are relying at all on total carb, I mean on uh, packaged foods, I would definitely assign a total carb cap mm -hmm. because I think the more packaged foods that are coming out, the carb count is getting a little bit more suspicious as new things come onto the market. And then that way, if you're taking a look at and you have a total carb cap for what you're eating, no matter what comes on the market, you'll be ready for it. Yeah. Next one is from Lori. Hey, Lori. Lori said, hi, I'm new here. Did keto several years ago and was excited about the recent YouTube postings from Joe and Rachel. Aww. The calculations have me a bit stumped. Any experienced member can guide me. Okay, super simple. Okay, that we're just trying to make it really easy. These are not our ideas, okay? And we really do believe in what Dr. Barry talks about with eating till you're comfortably full. This just kind of guides you along. So what you want to do is take your lean body mass. Now, if you don't know what that is, try to find out what your body fat percentage is. And you can go back to that one video we have and we go over everything. But if you don't know it and you have no way to find out what your body fat percentage is, really easy. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your goal weight. So for example, 150 pounds. And then you're gonna eat that much protein in grams. So at least. If your goal weight is 150 pounds, you're gonna eat at least, at least, 150 grams of protein per day. You can go over, but don't go under. And now, if you have one day and you only got to 138, we're not panicking. You're fine. You don't want to like have a goal of 150 and consistently be getting 80. That's that's yes. not good. Don't be like, oh my gosh, I didn't get it in today. That's not how our body works. Our no. bodies, when it, when we were hunter gatherers you would have a day where you didn't kill a deer, right? You you had weeks where you didn't kill a deer, but then when you did, you got everything you needed. Yeah. Now the other side is your fat and your carbohydrates. So you have 150 grams of protein and then you're going to, the other side, your fuel is going to total up to 150. So 10 grams of carbs, 140 grams of fat, 20 grams of carbs, 130 grams of fat. So it just makes it nice and easy. So, and those are the, that's what you're worried about. You wanna keep that under the 150. Don't go too low. I would say like, if your goal is to say 150, I'd go to maybe like 120, 130 as the lowest. Cause again, you wanna get at least 60 to 80 grams of fat in. But if you go too low, you're messing with your fuel and then you could be screwing up your metabolism. So just try to keep it all up there. But yeah, just look at the two. Eat the protein, you have to get it. The fat and the carbs, that is your fuel and you're gonna eat up to that amount. Next one is from Tim. Hey Tim, he says, new to the group, I've been doing a keto diet for three and a half months now. I started at 270 and have made it to 248. Way to awesome. go, Tim. That took about two and a half months. I have been stuck at 248. I eat less than 20 grams of carbs a day, exercise by swimming one and a half miles three to four times a week. I have a blood ketone meter and days I don't exercise, it says, stays between a 0.5 and one, which is barely nutritional ketosis. Morning after exercises, uh, blood ketones will be between one and two. I can't figure out what to do to get the vat burning started again. I've tried fasting and limiting calories and eating lots of good fats and more calories, but I'm stuck. Any advice? I think at 40, my metabolism is screwed. Your metabolism isn't screwed. Don't pay attention to the blood ketone number. I mean, it, it's. I know that's gonna be like, what? If you're getting between a 0.5 to a point to a one, you're in ketosis. You are burning fat. There is no advantage to having a higher ketone number. Everyone right. thinks I have a 3.0. I have a Doesn't 70. Doesn't mean anything. Okay? Right. It just means you have extra uh, ketones floating in your blood. You're not going to burn fat any faster. 
you're burning fat and everybody's body is different. Sometimes your body gets super efficient and makes what it needs, which is something like me. No matter what, I can go on a 72 hour fast. Yeah. My ketones don't go over a one. Yeah. Rachel gets up to a point two. Usually men are a little bit lower than women, but again, your body is going to get really efficient and make what it needs and you don't have to worry about it as much. Now. Again, remember, keto is kind of like a starvation thing. That's how your body deals with starvation. So really lowering your calories, you will end up with higher ketones, but that's not necessarily a good thing. But no. if you're between a 0.5 and a 1, that's optimal. You're in ketosis. You're going to go see posts from Danny Vega and Goody Beats who have been doing keto for a long time and are super fit and buff and even Keto Savage. And they're putting ketones at 0.5. So if they're at 0.5, don't worry about you only being at a 0.5. And, and what I would do is just try to stick to the one-to-one -one thing. The one-to-one -one thing that we're, we were just talking about and just set up your meal plans that way. And then when it comes to carbs, I always say like, cause you're saying 20 carbs, but I don't know if that is total carbs or net carbs. So mm -hmm. I, I might wanna just have a total carb protocol mm -hmm. for yourself and then and do the one-to-one. -one. Yeah. Next one is from Lori. Hey, Lori. Lori said a friend of mine posted this and it's just too good not to share. Fitbits are essentially Tamaguchis, except the stupid little creature you have to keep it alive is oh you. Oh my gosh, you're totally right. <laughs> you're totally, I am my own Tamaguchi right now. Do you remember those things? I do remember it. I know they put those up. things on Fitbits now too, those kind of things. Oh my gosh, because it would always, my, my Tamaguchi always wanted to eat at like three o'clock in the morning. Kind of like my kitty cat that is like sitting right here. <laughs> It's like 3 a.m. Like, hey, I think I'd like to bother you right now. Are you, you're not sleeping, The right? Apple Watch is the same thing, right? I mean, I get so obsessed with even, like, you didn't stand enough. I'm like, I've been standing all day, but you have to stand, like, every gotten, hour, right? Have you gotten the breathe Yeah, oh, the breathe thing. I love it. I get that breathing with my mask all the time. Right? I'm, you're putting I'm not dead. Mask, you're, not, you're not breathing enough. I yeah. am, you know, but... You don't think I'm breathing. You need to call Joe or something. It does become a thing, like, I have to fill those rings, right? Uh, next one is from Blair. Hey, Blair. Blair said, so I've been doing keto for a couple of months now. Well, on and off for a couple of years. Anyway, I've been working out, and today I upped the weight on an abdominal twist machine. Wow. 120 to 130 pounds. Whoa. I'm toning at this point. So excited. Keto gives me so much energy, and I work out at 5 a.m. You know, before the brain knows what I'm doing. Haha. <laughs> Just wanted to share this. That is awesome. Honestly, we were so blown away by our energy and ability to do stuff. That's really what spawned the camping channel mm. because it was like, wait a second, you mean that this enjoying our life and getting to do stuff is forever? It's right. not just until the cycle goes back around and we and we lose all of this. Like I thought it was just about buying clothes and, and fitting into stuff. It's not, you get to do things. You get to move and have new adventures and enjoy new hobbies. Like it is very exciting. Yeah. Uh, next one is from Misty. Hey, Misty. She says, received my Patreon gift yesterday. I have been struggle busting a lot lately with diet and binging on yummy yet highly inflammatory and destructive foods to help my emotions and stress. This isn't a success post, but I am thankful for finding 2KK and the love and kindness y'all provide. This band will stay on my wrist to remind me of all the pain, bloating, gas, emotional distress, weight gain, brain fog, etc that I have when I eat wrong. I've been obese for way too many years. Wow, first of all, I think that is a success post. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is a success because when I figure out, okay, what am I doing? I wanna stop this. I am moving forward. I'm gonna go in a different direction. I'm gonna focus on something different. When I know better, I will do better. That's right. So that is a huge success post coming to that conclusion. I love that. And I love that we can be on your wrist and just remind you. And I hope that every single time that you see that band, you're not saying like, you know, do right, act right. Don't, don't hear that here. I love you. You can do this. We believe in you. You got this. We doing it together. I love it. We have one more. It is from Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Jennifer said, I've experienced this myself, so I know it is true. I have always been a very healthy, overweight person, which is probably the reason I accepted it for so long. Mm -hmm. A few years ago, I developed high blood pressure and my blood sugar numbers were borderline. And this scared me to death as I watched my dad, one of the most important people in my life, die from diabetes, high blood pressure, and congestive heart failure, kidney failure, and many other issues that came with diabetes 
80s and his 60s. I thank God that I no longer live in fear of being sick, but he has given me hope for the future. He has given me everything that I need to be healthy and live a good long life and eating low carb is a huge part. Wow, I hear you. Yeah, I'm, and I'm, I'm sorry that you've lost your dad. I miss my dad and it's the same thing. Like he was 68 years old and it was way too early to lose my dad. Your dad was very young when, 64. He, when he passed away and it's just, it's too young. And we're gonna do something different. You know, sometimes it can be very scary. Even when you go to the doctor's office and they're saying, what is your history? What is, you know, what what's your family history? And sometimes when you're filling out that or if you contemplate that or you feel an ache or a pain or something, you're thinking, this is what's gonna happen to me. I can remember how many times I would forget to go, you know, what I went into a room for to get. And I would be like, am I going to struggle with Alzheimer's like my grandmother did? Like it, I mean, it was just scary. Just almost like you lived with a cloud over your head. And I'm telling you, we are not going to have every single problem that our parents and our mm -hmm. ancestors have. We're, we're doing everything that we can do to ensure a better result. And I'm so excited for you and your future. It is good. And we're going to live a pain-free future and we're not gonna live worried every single day. Yeah. Well, that is gonna be this week's Keto on the Couch. Now, again, make sure you head on over to Keto Connect's live stream on Wednesday yes. at 11 a.m. Eastern time. We appreciate everybody for supporting the channel. If you want to know how you can support the channel, using any of the links down below really does greatly support us. Now, <laughs> Charity. <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> thank you very much for watching this week. Make sure you join us also on our live stream this Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern time right here at Two Crazy Ketos. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, there are a hundred more Keto on the Couches and I'm going to link some of them right down there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head to charity, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next week, bye. bye.